guys welcome back to another vlog i am currently on my way to the trail it's like 6 45 i have been on such a good morning routine lately so let me know if you guys want me to do an updated in detail morning routine like old school like a morning routine that just makes me excited to get up also i'm having like some reaction to something because i keep itching like do you see how red that is today's wednesday yesterday i was so exhausted i basically slept the entire day i finished that book that i was reading and then i started a new one um and this was the redheads pick i read like 70 percent of it last night i started honestly had i not really needed to go to sleep to wake up today i would have finished the entire thing very very good so anyways i'm getting my starbucks i'm gonna go to walk and then i have pilates and then we have we have a big couple days here i'm leaving again on friday for fredericksburg but tomorrow we have the rangers game i just got invited to like a leon bridges after party which is really cool yeah we've got a lot to do a uh, lot going on i had to finish writing my speech i'm giving a speech at tcu next week for thousands of people which i didn't was not aware of i was aware of the speech just not aware of how many people were gonna be there and i had a nightmare about it last night i'm not nervous yet and i don't know if i will get nervous because sometimes i just don't get nervous i kind of just like get numb basically i had a dream last night that was a nightmare about it so it's kind of like when people have like wedding nightmares but it's just like not nearly as important as your wedding actually i don't know it's a lot of people it's not you know what i'm saying anyways so i'm gonna prep for that today that way it won't be a nightmare next week which it won't be anyways because i literally talk for a living so it'll be fine but if y'all are new here subscribe just put oil all over my body so I can't like touch anything because it gets all over me anyways I'm back from Pilates it was so good I hadn't been in like five days I think and it was just exactly what I needed they have a new location too that's opening over like an Oakland area I actually want to do a class for like y'all in Dallas if you guys are there I want to do more Dallas events especially because I'm going after I think November and December, I'm trying to like not do any travel for work. So maybe I'll be able to do more things, you know? But I do want to do a group Pilates class. Anyways, I did just want to say, it's so crazy because I always am like, who cares what people think? Like, ignore them, whatever. And for the most part, like, I really don't care what people think. But I'm and I'm not a people pleaser in most ways. But I'm realizing now, I'm like, I'm, I'm being a little people pleasy right now. Because something happened that like really upset me because I was like, oh my God, I don't want you to like think a certain thing, even though it was like totally taken out of totally wrong like there was no truth to it and now i'm just like literally i spent my entire class class this morning thinking about it and i'm like oh my god this and that i'm like why it's just annoying basically what i'm trying to say is that your opinion of yourself is the only one that matters and like you don't have to catastrophize because like one person doesn't like you but that's exactly what i was doing this morning so um you know practice what you preach not even that like obviously we're all human and we're all dealing with the same issues and like whatever not the same issues but you know what i mean i am not articulating this well what i'm trying to say is i let someone having an experience that like wasn't true and wasn't given enough time to like see through like really bother me and get me off my game this morning and i was thinking about it the entire pilates class you know and then i came to the conclusion that who cares? Not who cares. Actually, I do care very much so. Um, and I'm definitely people. I'm definitely being a people pleaser in the way of like almost getting taken advantage of. Honestly, I'm not even taking advantage of. Honestly, just miscommunication that like I was not allowed to see through. Whatever. Um. Anyways, I let it bother me like all morning. And I finally was like, who cares? Like at the end of the day, I just am like so afraid of people because I care so much about making people stay or like making their world bigger or like investing in other people or whatever. When something goes south, it really bothers me. And I'm really having to realize or like to learn again, like in this specific area of my life, I cannot control people's opinions or like their negative perceptions or their whatever. Like you can't control people at the end of the day. And like sometimes things happen and that's fine. And at the end of the day, like you know who you are and leave it at that. You know what I mean? But it really bothered me this morning. I was like, what am I doing right now? So I'm about to go guest on a podcast and then I need to take the dogs to the groomer and I'm working on my speech today for TCU. And then tonight, oh, I'm going to my solo date. It's also like really hot in here. So I need to turn the AC on. My outfit, um, not loving 
loving it. It's just like lounge stuff. But I will say these shoes, I am obsessed. I got them on Go. Like so cute. I'll try to link them below. I don't really know how Go works. I'll see if they're available online. I don't like them if they are. But anyways, off to work. All right, I've been hearing great things about this cleanser moisturizer. I think it's oil cleansing. I've been seeing it on TikTok. Um, then it came back in stock, so I ordered it. It just arrived. I'll keep you all posted. I don't even really know how I'm supposed to use this. This is how easily influenced I am. But so anyways, I'll keep you all posted. It's now 4 p.m. and I'm going to go on my solo artist date. If you guys didn't watch my last week of my life vlog, I'm currently doing the Artist Way Challenge, which is a book. You do 12 weeks of morning pages and then one solo artist date a week. This week, I was gonna go see a movie, but I just am not feeling a movie right now. So I'm actually gonna go read and journal because I need to read the second chapter of the Artist Way anyways at Leela's. I do so many things alone that it's hard to be like, this is what my thing's gonna be. Um, but I'm gonna go do that, sit outside, just relax, and then the dog's taking a really long time with the groomers today, so I'm gonna get them after. Also, um, worked a ton on my speech or TCU, and I'm getting excited now. I was stressed, now I'm excited, and I feel really good about it, I feel like it's gonna be good. So, um, I also have a meeting for that in the morning, so I feel like after that, I'll be like totally set on what I'm gonna say. Need to go get my journal. Oh, I forgot, I don't know if I told you guys this already, but I lost my Kindle Oasis on my birthday, so on Monday. Couldn't find it anywhere. Still haven't found it anywhere. I found, figured that out at 10 p.m. I ordered a new one, just in case it didn't show up, because then I could just return this, you know? Still haven't found it, so thank God I ordered a new one, because I'm so dependent on my kid. I literally can't go more than like 12 hours without it. So eventually I might have a second one. I had to have left it at my dad's house though. But he says he hasn't found it anywhere. So I feel like he just like didn't look good enough, you know? So I had to get a new Kindle. But I'm telling you, best money I've ever spent. It doesn't even matter to me. Also, am I like not supposed to be reading the chapter while I do my artist day? I feel like that's fine. That's what my thing is going to be this week. Just showered and tan. I'm back home, picked up the dogs. They look so cute. I ordered some dinner in. Um, I'm only home for like three days this week, so I didn't bother grocery shopping. I've also been listening to Celebrity Memoir Book Club. I, I do like this. It's just like, I will say, not that there's any knock, because this is the whole point for them, is that they're, it's just like a very negative, like they're funny. It's supposed to be sarcastic. That's whole, the, that's obviously the vibe, but like sometimes I'm like, okay, like, let people live, you know what I mean? But also, still a really good show. Anyways, this is what I have. I'm gonna finish my book tonight. <laughs> Guys, I have Tanner all over my face right now. I love Wednesday nights because I read, and then at BFFs, my, this is not the correct time, by the way, um, BFFs comes out. I started a flicker in the dark last night. I'm already at 70%. I'm hoping to finish that before the podcast even starts. Eat my dinner, watch BFFs in peace, and go to bed. That is my plan. Tomorrow's actually gonna be a really fun day, so I'm just trying to rest. Good morning, guys. It is 7.30. I'm on my way to the trail. I'm starting off my day a little bit later because I'm going straight from here to a coffee meeting with my management, and then after that, I'm going to Pilates, coming home. Tonight, we have the Rangers game in a suite, and then, um, not on me. We were invited by the Rangers, not like, I didn't pay for that. Um, I would love to have a suite. I would love for that to be in my, in my journey. But as of right now, like for it to be in my path, uh, it has to be like an invite, you know what I mean? Um, and then tonight we have the Leon Bridges after party. So I've actually got a lot going. Um, I need to work on my speech still, finish that up. I finished a flicker in the dark last night. I really, really loved it. I feel like part of me like knew who it was the whole time. And the other part of me like thought it was a different person every other probably like 20 pages i don't i don't know like at the end of the day it was who i thought it was but i also think because i've read so many thrillers you just always know like for example they were like throwing it on daniel for so long and like you just know that it's not daniel because there's always going to be like some sort of twist it's normally the person they talk the least about actually that's not true anyways I'm going to get my coffee I'm going on a walk it's gonna be a good day. I'm wearing a hat because my hair is like gross. And we're just getting today going, guys. I hope everyone's having a fabulous day. I don't know why I'm in such a good mood today, um, but here we are. Oh, I also need to pack today, so. Also, I tan. Maybe that's why I'm in a good mood.
got to my meeting early to work and I am somehow completely locked out of my laptop or my MacBook. No, my iPad. I've never had a different passcode on this thing and I'm just completely locked out. So that sucks. Also, Merritt was so full, I need to go. I take my laptop and we need to go somewhere else. But like, how did that happen? And earlier today, someone like jammed into my car really fast and I was just standing there. They didn't even say sorry. It was so rude, but they didn't see me. So. back again just had a nice meeting at foxtrot the third coffee shop i've been to and it's only 11 a.m feeling good now i'm gonna go to pilates oh my god it's so hot i know i'm wearing a hoodie but i was like fine before i love the whole hat look like maybe this is gonna be my new thing back home got my brows done ordered a bunch unboxing stuff amazon set active y'all will see it soon i'm doing like two hours with the laundry right now so i need to eat shower and like get it together and then we'll we'll regroup later all right guys so i actually didn't end up taking you through getting ready today because i practiced my speech 25 minutes long three or four times i think four so i couldn't do that because i was literally talking to myself I guess technically speaking, every YouTube video is talking to yourself. I'm getting ready for the Rangers game. And last time I went, I got this hat, which I'll be wearing tonight. I need to put my lipstick on also. I don't like how this is. I'm definitely wearing this tonight because the Rangers invited to send. Their one request was to wear either Rangers colors or memorabilia. And I have some because they gave me a gift card last time I was there. Actually, I have Ranger stuff anyways because my dad is like such a sports guy. But I've been waiting to pull this out. And then after we have the Leon Bridges after party. And I think I know what I'm going to wear. Just give me a sec. I'm packing for tomorrow because tomorrow I go to Fredericksburg. It's just so crazy how many dresses I have that I just like don't like at the end of the day. Oh my god, this dress. So this really pretty like pink just like drapey dress from Revolve. And I think I'm gonna wear it to a wedding in October, but is that weird? I don't know. I haven't really been to that many weddings of like friends. So what do I wear? It's in Tennessee, but it's not like a hot pink. It's more of like a deep pink. I like dresses that I'm excited to wear. I got for Nantucket. But I don't wanna wear them until I go to Nantucket next week. So we're gonna stick to these and then I'm gonna get a shirt and just like go for the best. Some swimsuit stuff, you know, like, we're making do. Ignore um, the laundry in the background, but I just want to say I need to fix this hat still. I always thought I didn't like, even though I love the look on everyone else where people wear hats, pull their hair behind their ears and have earrings on. Um, I always thought I didn't like it on me, but I actually do like it on me. I just wasn't wearing the right earrings. So when I get to the game, this is what I'll wear. The only problem is I'm going to a party after and I need to change. And this is going to get my makeup all off. So I've got to think about that. I might just like throw things in my purse or something. But I like this look. This is my Rangers game OOT in, if you will. The tank is Skims and I'm actually wearing a Skims bra. I really don't ever wear bras. But if I do, they're always Skims. Um, I just have like the everybody one so comfortable. Hat I got at the Rangers uh, Stadium. Wait, hat is from the Rangers. Um, bags my normal like Chanel bag I just got. These jeans are some of my faves. They're the Abercrombie Curve Love line. They're so good. And then I'm just wearing um, like platform covers. I feel like this is like perfect for the Rangers game. So Lauren and I are here. We've arrived at the Rangers game. We are incredibly excited for the hot dogs, as you guys know. We're big hot dog fans. And um, <laughs> and a margarita. So we're really gonna have the best time of our lives. And then um, we're going to the after party that we have absolutely no idea how we got invited. So uh, we're best friends. <laughs> with him? Yes. You know what? It might have been the T Pain is my best friend thing in your bio. I mean, that was it. That's why we got invited. And they were like, I hope Kenzie brings they Lauren. They mentioned me in the email? Yeah, they were like, Kenzie <laughs> and Lauren. Kenzie, please bring your friend Lauren. <laughs> yeah, T Pain's best friend. <laughs> guys, we went to a T Pain concert because Lauren is, fun fact, the biggest T Pain fan there ever has been. He told them that if you're there what did he say that you guys are all his best friends yeah and then i said you should make it your buyer or he said you should make it your buyer i think it was me i don't know i think it was me. i think he directly looked at my eyes and subconsciously told me to put me in his bio like lauren thinks that they fell in love that night the man's married do you guys feel this way about t-pain like is there anyone out there there's a wrong answer i have requested we were talking about this on the way here i have requested t-pain on cameo i can't tell you how many times Get that man on cameo. It would have been, I was trying so hard because he pushed his concert back, Lauren was so sad, so I was like, we should get her a cameo. No, he doesn't care, so anyways. Posting a TikTok, it's really hard being a TikTok celebrity. Um, and we're gonna go in. Tell me about it. 
<laughs> oh yeah, Lauren is also a TikTok celebrity these I days. I just recently went viral, <laughs> and then I was quickly after shadow banned. <laughs> TikTok is out to get me. Yeah, it really is. But it seems like things are looking up. So, anyways, I look like a uh, like a ranger's wife, if you will. Cause I'm wearing white. Something about it. Just you know what? Manifest it. No, not rangers. Do you guys know that? Statistically speaking, baseball players are the biggest cheaters. Mo most common to cheat, which actually makes sense because their season's longest. Did you know that? But would it be worth it? No. Okay, he's a 10, but he cheats. <laughs> Zero! <laughs> guys I'm back I don't think I really vlogged at the party but I was just so tired I am either like the most outgoing person in the room I don't shut up I talk to everyone I know everyone or I am the biggest hermit and I'm just in the corner of the room like talking to my friends especially when I'm with like one of my like best best friends and then I really don't have to make an effort with anyone else it just like, depends on my vibe you know what I mean I'm either the most outgoing person you'll ever meet in your entire life or just like very calm chill have nothing to say that was my vibe tonight and i was just tired like i love my thursday nights at home i really do and it was hard but anyways really fun events tonight really glad that we went um the rangers game was so much fun by the way if you guys want you can use code kenzie and you get 25 percent off like actually let me give you the actual um info really quick i'm not getting paid i don't even have to share this but Use promo Kinsey for 25% off for home plate and outfield. Um, applicable for all 2022 home games except for Saturday nights and games versus the Yankees. So if you guys are interested, um, Globe Life is obviously like so nice. It's just so much fun. So definitely check that out. But anyways, it is 12.15. I need to wash my face and get in my pajamas and read. My favorite part of the day. Doesn't matter what I'm doing, there is nothing I love more. See y'all in the morning when we're getting ready to leave and off to Fredericksburg for the weekend. I did pack a lot today. I ended up getting a lot done today, thank God, because I was so anxious that I just like had to keep going to like, you know, feel fine. I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm so tired, like unbelievably tired, and this is what's happening. Also, I had a really good um, nitro espresso martini at Capper just now. Really good, nitro, very cute, loved it. I was like a big fan. Good morning guys, happy Friday. Last night was fun. I'm currently in the Starbucks drive-thru. I'm about to pick up my sister. I'm on big sister duty today. Have to get us to Fredericksburg for our cousin Alyssa's birthday. Um, so we have like a four and a half hour drive. I was literally just in that area too a few days ago. So we're getting in coffee right now. It's gonna be a long, long drive, guys. Long drive. I already got gas. I feel like the mom I packed the car. Like, I just, I don't know why I act like my siblings like can't do it. It's because they won't do anything. Actually, that's why. It's like, if I don't do it, they're not gonna do it. So, I don't really have much of a choice. You know, you gotta love them. You know, if you're an older sibling, I'm actually curious, like, what? Everyone comment, what are you in like birth order? I'm the oldest, which I like rings very true. Maddie's obviously middle, which rings very true. My little brother Cody is the baby, which also rings true. And then obviously we have like a billion step siblings, but I would say for all of them, even the triplets, which are obviously they're born like minutes apart, all the same. Birth order is so interesting and it's like literally always right. I've only met like two people in my life that I'm like, that's shocking. Dom, I feel like doesn't fit her birth order. That's what I think actually, okay. Hello. Uh, Perfect. Sorry, it's still loading. Oh, got it. Like, thank you. You have great eyebrows. Oh, really? Oh my god. Thank you. I just got them done. That's the only reason. Thank you. All right, guys. We are off. Four hours and fifteen minutes in the car today. Probably more than that. Love that. Love that so much. Hi, guys. We're about. <sighs> I like not long enough into this road trip to be feeling the way that I'm feeling we were supposed to go to a chicken express which for whatever reason Maddie hates canes and loves chicken express I don't understand what 
it's is somehow Bush's chicken. It's like, somehow, and I'm sure it's a great place, but like that is just yeah, not where we're gonna give you we are told. Head. We'll give you a little review. Oh my god, amazing! I got sweet tea. We're really off to Fredericksburg this weekend. Maddie keeps talking to herself out loud. Yeah, like Kenzie won't talk to me, so I'm just kind of no. Like, that's not true. At all. I don't know. I'm just kind of been like vibing, talking out loud to myself. When I say things to you, you just like literally look the other way and don't answer. That's so not true. You tell me to shut up to listen to your stupid podcast. I've never told you to shut like, up. Why would you rather listen to your podcast than? I could list a few reasons, but I never told you to shut up. And no, not I yet. I keep saying things to you, and then you just look the other way. And then you'll have something to say to yourself, and then you just talk out loud to yourself. Over no, my podcast. I'm talking to you too, sis. No, you literally just said you're talking to yourself. Well, because you weren't listening. Oh my god, no. Okay, well, anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um... Are you vlogging it's been, a, it's been a nice little no. It's been a lot, nice little week in my life. Um, I don't vlog other people's birthdays. It was like their time. You know what I mean. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you Pretty soon. Good. Bye. Y'all should try Bush's chicken. You know when you're anxious, you're not even logical anymore. You've like yeah, lost the fucking plot. Anxiety okay? is not logical. Yeah, yeah, there's no logic. You're worrying about things that haven't happened. Like there's no. It, you're not. You you you've like lost touch with reality. And so.